All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of The Filmaholic. This is part of our What If series, and it's what if this film came out today, who would direct it, who would want to direct it, who would we want to star in it, um, and, you know, if you wanted to make the, the, the film go in a different direction than what it originally was, that's fine, too, if you want to put that spin on it, but you don't have to. Like, in the last video, we talked about Star Wars A New Hope, uh, and I kind of stuck with um, how George Lucas would have done it with, you know, and bringing in John Favreau and stuff like that. Uh, I think, about you took it a little bit a different direction and a different approach. But today we're doing Reservoir Dogs, Tarantino's first film uh, from the early 90s. And we're going to put this today and recast it and put a new director in. So with that being said, Bell, do you want to go first? Or would you like me to go first? Shit, I'll go first. All so, right, all right. So, so like, you know, because I have a feeling Mike's going to up the scales from what I did from you, Hope. And it's gonna probably going to send you to the hospital. Yeah. Oh, no. All right. Yeah. Now, now, I only have all the color palettes and two dudes. That's all I have. All right. Okay, I have all of the, uh, the, the, the names. And I also have Nice Guy, Eddie, uh, yeah. Joe, and... Marvin Nash. I do not have Marvin Nash. That's the guy who gets his ear cut off. Yeah, but I did not add him. Okay. 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 For Mr. White, I have a Vigo. I do from Green Book. All right. Okay. Uh, uh, first of all, before we go into all this, who's your director? My director. Yeah. Ah, son of a bitch! I didn't have that one. Um, I'll get to it in the end. Okay. Thank you real quick. All right. Uh, Mr. Blue, Clean Eastwood. Okay. Yeah, I told you I was going to go off the rails with this. Uh, Mr. Orange, Ryan Gosling. Uh, Mr. Blonde, John Hamm. Yeah, okay. Going That's a good yeah. one. That's a good one. Yeah, I'm going off the rails with mine. Uh, Mr. Pink, uh, the Joker himself, Jared Leto. Yeah. Um, you got a you got a big cast. Well, I mean, I have oh, a big yeah. cast too. Uh, Mr. Brown, Christian Bell. Uh-huh. Uh, Joe, Robert Redford. Uh, and nice guy Eddie Jonah Hill. Okay. Who's your director? A director. Um. Okay. For some reason, I was about to say Spike Lee. For some reason. Oh, shit. So, my director would be James Mangold. Okay. Uh, you're taking a very um, big film approach to this. I want to... I have a big cast, but I want to take it a small filming approach like Tarantino did with his first film. Uh, and so, the person that I chose to direct Reservoir Dogs is Jonah Hill, who we saw recently, uh, not too, well, not too long ago, direct Mid-90s. And I didn't love Mid-90s. I thought it was good. Uh, I didn't love it, but I liked what he did with it. And I'd like to see him take that and bring it to Reservoir Dogs. Uh, not only do I want Jonah Hill to direct the film, but I also have him in the film playing Mr. Pink, who was originally played by Steve Buscemi. Okay, so I have those, and then we go to Mr. White, uh, originally played by Harvey Cattell, and this time around, I am bringing in Brad Pitt as Mr. White, who obviously is no stranger to Tarantino films and has also worked with Jonah Hill and Moneyball. So after that, we have Mr. Blonde uh, slash Vic Vega, originally played by Michael Madsen, and my version is going to be Chris Evans. Next, we have Mr. Orange, played by Tim Roth originally. And I have Chris Pine, playing Mr. Orange. For a nice guy, Eddie, who was originally played by uh, uh, Chris Penn, I have uh, Denny McBride, playing nice guy, Eddie. For Mr. Brown, who was originally played by Tarantino himself, 
I have another one of Johnny Hill's friends, Seth Rogen, popping in as a cameo to play Mr. Brown. Uh, for Mr. Blue, who you have as uh, Clint Eastwood, uh, in the original he was played by Edward Buck Bunker, um, I'm having Nif Nick Offerman play uh, Mr. Blue. For Joe, I'm having Brian Cranston come in. And finally, for Marvin Nash, who is the cop who gets his ear cut off by uh, Mr. Blonde, I have Lucas Hedges, who also has worked with Jonah Hill in mid-90s uh, mid uh, and is no stranger to smaller indie films. I'm going to have him come in and play a cameo as the cop and have his ear cut off by Chris Evans. Yeah, your show sounds way better than mine. <laughs> but it's still expensive, though. It's still expensive. But you got John Hill directing it, which he's expensive alone. But if he was passionate about it and you know, he was directing it, you know, he's a lot of these people are his friends, you know, Seth Rogen, uh, Brad Pitt, uh, Dan McBride, Lucas Hedges. And then you have a couple of the other ones thrown in there with Chris Evans and, and Chris Pine. Yeah. I would... I talk myself into it. I would really like to see this film. <laughs> Not really. I don't want them to remake Reservoir Dogs. Most of these films that we're going to be covering, I don't want to ever see an actual remake. This is just for fun, but I think it would be interesting. You should hear about that, man. Right. Uh, maybe one day we'll get to one where I'm like, maybe, maybe I do want to see this remake. But I don't want to ever see a Tarantino film remade. Once, once upon a time, or eighty. I kill you. I think I think that's gonna literally gonna be on your grave, on your grave, die by heart attack by seeing a remake of Once Upon a Time. But yeah, so that is our What If video, the second in the series. The first was Star Wars: A New Hope. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. This one is Reservoir Dogs. Our next What If video. I'm here to announce it is going to be Jurassic Park. Oh! Yeah, check it out, guys.